Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. We have an amazing week coming up. My niece Becca got here early. She is an amazing artist, an amazing painter. We're finally gonna be putting some paint on those pod racers that we've been building and working so hard on. Also worked over the weekend, got the design finished for the wing of the B-17. I'm gonna be heading over to manufacturing and getting that cut out so we can finally start assembling that. And while we're at it, we're gonna be having our first FTCA event that's indoor. That's gonna be at the Kent State Fieldhouse. We're gonna be debuting the Tenet and the Nano Flurkin. We got a lot of work to do, let's get started. just been playing around with different techniques and different things so we're using the um, kind of hot carving tool here um, and then there's different techniques you can do with wiping down a sponge to really give it some depth super fun trick you can use with sand to make a sand look with baking soda and Elmer's glue that'll help it stick this is not moving anywhere um, we're just kind of messing around and seeing what looks good. It literally looks like caked on skin, but it's hard as a rock. And what yep. is that made out of? It's made out of acrylic paint that's kind of made to a sand color. Um, and then just regular almost glue that you would use for school. Um, and then some baking soda. And you just kind of, there's no real right or wrong consistency. Just whatever you think would be good. Oh my gosh, yeah. incredible. So are we ready to start putting some stuff on the pottery? Yes, we are. I love it. And the blue and the yellow are perfect. Thank you. Oh, I can't wait. All right, let's take this. All right, so we've been learning more and more every time, and this time we're trying something different. In the past, we've cut one piece at a time. I have the entire B-17 wing here, minus the little wing tips, all in this one big chunk of foam here. We're gonna cut every single section, both the left and the right wing out, all in one cut file. If this works, this is gonna completely speed up how we do things and how we design airplanes. Okay. All right, so I brought down our FT-10 and light here. I haven't test flowed him, but I'm going to go ahead and holler at Jason and see if we can get it to him. Hey, Jason! Oh, no! <laughs> that works! Well, obviously went way further than I expected. <laughs> We're going to have a ton of those things flying around. <laughs> You ready, Bill? If you catch this, you can retire today. <laughs> Joke's on him. Today's Bill's last day. He is officially retired after over 11 years of not only serving flight test, but also Lauren. Yay! 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 Here, toss up here. I'll try to throw it above the, the duct and see how far we can go. Okay, here we go. Woo! We're going to try to go above the duct. Ready? Three. Oh no! Oh, oh, get oh. Get <laughs> <laughs> All right, I better get back to work. All right, so while Becca is painting the pod racers and the guys are working on the wings, I wanna tell you about today's sponsor of this episode and that is our friends over at Athletic Greens. So if you don't know much about Athletic Greens already, they are a nutrition company with a daily supplement that you can use to live a healthier lifestyle. Their product is called AG1 and it helps support a whole bunch of different things like your gut, your digestion, your energy, etc. The AG1 product actually has 75 different ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, and probiotics, and much, much more. So as you guys know, I'm running around doing a lot of crazy things. So Athletic Greens makes a ton of sense for me because it's easy and it's convenient. Now this is something that you're going to take every day just along with your regular routine of eating. It's super simple, super quick, and super easy to continue to do. So one of the really big things that kind of turned me on to Athletic Greens is because I've had a lot of problems with like digestion and gut health. And so what's great about the AG1 product from Athletic Greens is it has a natural occurring enzyme that allows you to help you absorb and digest and break down those foods that you eat every day. All right guys, so now if you guys want to get your greens, make sure you go to the link in the description below or go and check out athleticgreens.com slash flight test to start your order now. And being part of the flight test community, if you purchase through our link, you're gonna get a free one year supply of the immune supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All right, so I'm gonna go start my daily routine and take this now, and then I'm gonna go check out on these guys and see if they got anything else going on. All right, so we're in for a little bit of weekend fun here, playing catch up here. Becca, you've been painting like crazy. Yeah. This later. What are you guys up to? Um, we're currently on like day two and a half-ish of painting this piece. Um, 
It's been so much fun. We've been just doing different things with texture and rust, tools like fingers and toothbrushes and sponges and just whatever we could really find laying around. I love it. What's your next project? What do you work on next? Um, next, we're gonna finish painting all the silver here and then we're working on getting these all painted and then we're gonna make them look weathered. I noticed that you're using a lot of different shades here. Not only to show rust, but also depth. Yeah, there's different things that you can do literally with the color black and white to make tons of different shades of paints. Um, and then a simple brown can make rust. Um, and then also comparing colors like brown to tan, to gray to white. To even blue. Looks fantastic. All right, we got a lot of work to do here. Uh, it's Sunday, Monday's coming. We gotta get this thing over the hump by Thursday. All right, so our friends over at Radio Master, as you can see here, we got some goodies. Uh, we're actually gonna work uh, a little bit closer with them. We're actually just like had a Radio Master transmitters on yes. our store. Yeah, we're bringing it in the store. Boom, let's go, baby. So we actually partnered with them in a couple different ways, but this way actually is we had custom made transmitters made for the whole crew. I think we should open these up. I think so. Well, we got a flying event on Friday, so yes. we need to open them up and get them on charge. Yeah, true. Who, <laughs> what? So, uh, the F <laughs> FT Misfit. Ah, yes. That's me. Yes. Y'all know it. Yes. It's no, uh, That's phenomenal. You want to get in a little closer for the reveal? That is dope. <laughs> that is dope. All right, I'm not even gonna look at it. I'm gonna show you guys before I see it. Hopefully it's not good. Ready? <laughs> Can I see it now? Mm-hmm. Holy cow, that's awesome. Wait, that's a ginger. You opened mine. I opened yours. I thought that looked familiar. It's a ginger on it. I want to see it. It's like, take out the name, bro. I opened, oh. I opened up my sons. Wow, that looks nice, Noah. Let's go find mine. <laughs> I already, re I already misplaced Josh. mine. <laughs> I'm not even. You guys get to look at it first. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This one says blue jay. This one's awesome. I don't even know. Does it look cool? Does it look good? Ooh, I like it. There it is, Jay Vix. Is that Michael's? This is mine. That's yours? Oh, you got the gold one. Dude. Oh, that's No, no, sick. that can't be yours. That matches my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, like, obviously go to our store and get customized. Where do they get customized? All right, so you're going to actually go directly to the Radio Master website to get your, like, custom style transmitter. Um, so that's radiomaster.com, essentially. Uh, that's their actual store. So now, but you can get regular Radio Master transmitters from like our store. Um, we also work with Buddy RC um, as well. So they're one of the main carriers as well. So uh, yeah, the, yeah. These, these customs, you gotta go straight to Radio Master. As much as I want you guys to come to our store and buy it, if you want a custom one, <laughs> this is the way to do it. Yeah. So the team is taking a short break from building the B-17 and the pod racers. We're gonna be loading up a ton of different airplanes, the Nano Flurkin, the Tenant, a whole bunch of planes. We're gonna meet some good friends out at the Northeast Electric Ohio Fun Fly. This venue is absolutely huge. It's a full-size football field. We're gonna be bringing all the planes, meeting up some great people, and having some fun. All right, so we are here. The people are already coming in. This is an amazing place. This is also a really good opportunity, guys. If you ever have an indoor arena like this, a lot of colleges have them, there's times you can rent these places. One thing we're trying to do at the FTCA is we're trying to give people the opportunity to form activities and groups, not necessarily clubs, where people can get together and fly. Something as simple as this can easily be put together by anybody. It doesn't need to be a club. And a huge shout out to our friends Mark Sturmer and also the flight crew for helping because they volunteer at this event. And that's what got us through the door. So thank you, Mark. All right, we're gonna maiden the Nano Flurkin in, I forget the name of this place. What is the name of this place? This place? Kent State Fieldhouse. Kent State Fieldhouse. Kent State Fieldhouse. We're gonna, we're gonna maiden the Nano Flurkin at Kent State Fieldhouse. And I'm gonna forget the name in five more seconds. So no, it is not. I only go downhill, okay. Safety first, we're gonna wait for people to clear. Oh. <laughs> so we've been trying to figure out the perfect motor combination. This is a 1304 with a, uh, a three blade, I'm sorry, a three inch two blade. <laughs> oh, it is so stable, David. Awesome. All right, so this is trimmed up here. I think the next step is to play past the transmitter people, let them try it out. I'm just gonna land it. Sorry. Oh, you wanna... No, not quite. But I can't tax it. <laughs> All right, so mini landing gear coming next, right? Yep. All right. <laughs> Thank you. 
So this is Chloe from RC Safari here. She comes out and hangs out with us once in a while. She comes out and hangs out with us once in a while at Edgewater. And uh, she has her own YouTube channel. She also travels around to her Horizon events. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm just chewing her ear while she's trying to fly a squirrel a little force up wing. Hot to mouth. Yeah. You should see it on freestyle. <laughs> It just, it just floats in the air. It's okay. <laughs> awesome. Good job, Chloe. Thank you. All right, so this is why we beta test things. You know what I think we'll do? Hmm. I think what we'll do is we'll put the stranded tape before we do the thing on the complete bottom. Oh, yeah. So that way when it hits and tumbles. He hit pretty hard, too. He did hit pretty hard. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. All right, let's just go back on. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Becca, you crushed it. Thanks. Absolutely awesome. Like I said before, we didn't want something pristine. We want something weathered, and I think you knocked this out of the park. Yeah, we've been having a lot of fun with it, just trying different things, lots of trial and error, but that's yeah. just part of the learning process. That's one of the coolest yeah. things. Like early on, you started, you started with a little bit of the mud and stuff, but we found the mud actually made better rust mm -hmm. than mud. Yeah. And so you textured it, put a little different color on it, now we have bubbling rust under the paint. Yeah, it's so cool to see what different things will come along with along the way. I love it, I love it. So basically we got this one kind of done. We got a little bit of detail that we still got to do with some louvers and stuff, but before we do that, we got to get some wiring in there. Uh, you're going to work on the next one, right? Yep, going to get going. I'm down one to go. So there's a lot of additional details we're going to be put on in the very last minute, but we got to have some room to put LED lights on. And then right before we hang this up is when we'll put those on. All right, so we are blessed with another winter storm, but luckily we were able to get in and now the wings are all done with the B-17. I'm onto the nacelles. Now for this project, I'm gonna cut out some round cylinders and the goal is to be able to have two different profiles cut. So just a little bit of sanding is required to bring that round further back. If everything works out good, we're gonna have the wings and the cells done here in a matter of just a few moments. So you can see we have our nice round circle here. Basically looks like a big old tire. And over here, we have a profile. That profile actually has two different sides and two different profiles and it cuts out right along here. Once that is done cutting, we're able to place it on the wing. It's a perfect fit. One down, three to go. Now we're not done with the wing here. I'm gonna be cutting out some spars and bringing them to David. He has a plan with some vacuum bags and some fiberglass. We're gonna stress test these before we put these together because we don't want this plane to end up like some of our other ones. So we got a lot of work to do. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these pieces, load them up in the car, bring it all over to David. And we'll put it together. All right, so we got our first uh, test fits here. These are the foam spars that we're going to get fiberglass, but we kind of want to piece everything together. Ready? Oh, that is so beautiful. <laughs> We're taking a much different approach than what we did with our Monster Megalacy. And what we did with the Monster Megalacy is we had a huge spar, then we had a whole bunch of long drawns, and we had struts. B-17s don't have struts, but what they do have is a huge center spar. We're going to fiberglass that instead, and also the outer skin is going to be fiberglass as well. Hopefully what that'll give us is an incredibly strong cantilevered wing uh, that won't need any external bracing. And I think it's going to be a lot lighter, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the general thought is we're going to try to make it as light as possible so we don't have to make it strong. You have to kind of battle between the two. And to give you kind of a, a perspective here, the Pete and Pole, I think only had a five inch bar by three quarter of an inch uh, poplar. This here is much taller when it's fiberglass. So you're gonna have all that distance here to capture. As long as we make sure it doesn't bend, we're gonna be just fine. Great work. Man. Yeah, it was a great week. We got a lot done. We even got to go flying. Yeah, had a great time with the people outside. Got the test out and launched the FT-10 it. Uh, these wings look incredible, but make sure you turn in next week because not only are we going to be finishing and gluing these together, we're going to be doing uh, tests on the spars, right? Right. Um, yeah, we have a lot of fiberglassing to do and tests and stuff to see what works best and what we can do to bolt the wings together. Absolutely. And also, these are entering its final chapter. They may be painted now. Next week they're going to get hung up on the wall, LED lights, the fins are going on. Wes has a lot of really cool plans on programming an Arduino board to make them work good. Make sure you check that out. We got work to do. Yeah, we'll see, see you, you next time. time.